Hi, welcome to this video of PowerShell training. In this video, we will discuss about the framework, how we can improvise or change the look and feel of uh, the output and the script it itself. So this is completely optional. If you are comfortable using the earlier framework, that is absolutely fine. These are just some cosmetic changes that we are doing to the framework. So let's open the framework. Now, usually what I do is I add some description about the script, uh, about uh, what is this script is for. Then on the next line, uh, how to use that script. Now every time we don't have to add a hash symbol or pound symbol for uh, uh, commenting anything. There is another syntax which we can use. This one. So whatever we line uh, we add in between these two symbols uh, becomes a comment. So we don't have to use hash on every line. So let's add this one to all the sections and this one over here and remove the pound sign okay now let's add a variable called count it can be anything let's put a value of 0 over here and what we do is we increase the number by 1 every time an item is processed from the list by this command plus plus okay so uh, initially we put 0 into count and whenever this command is executed the count is increased by 1 so this is how it is done is one if we execute it one more time it becomes two okay so let me show you what is the use of this variable uh, what we can do is if there are hundreds of items that you are processing from a list uh, we can just display the progress about their execution with this variable by writing the variable number and the name of the item that is processed okay now let's run the command or let's try something else with this command get item uh, of uh, to see if the local uh, temp folder exists on the local computer or remote computer so this gives us these properties last write time so i have modified name and last write time over here and let's execute i don't think it will not be executed on remote computers but uh, let's execute locally for all the computers and let's see how the output looks all right so it is showing the progress uh, how it is processing uh, along with the error message so let's see how we can suppress the error message so for suppressing the error message we add a variable called error action preference and the value is silently continue all right when we use this variable all the error messages are suppressed let's see how the output looks yeah so this time it has not displayed any error message but the drawback of using this variable is that if there is any typo or mistake in your code you won't be able to identify it because the error messages are not displayed so whenever you have to troubleshoot your code or see what all error messages are there we use this variable to inquire let's run this and see how it works 
so every time it faces any error it will give you the confirmation box to continue with the execution or halt the command or suspend it so i just click yes and this is how it looks let's change it back to silently continue all right so what we can improvise is instead of writing plain output we can just write it in different colors let's add it over here with a different color maybe green and if the test is failed we can have it in a different color and maybe a different text is not reachable all right let's execute this code and see how it looks now see uh, the successful items have been uh, displayed in green color and the failed one is in red color you can customize these wordings uh, depending upon the script or the command that you are executing so let's go through the script once again uh, so in the first section you add description or uh, all the comments about the script we define the error action preference along with the variables in the second section we created a for each loop to execute some code uh, on every item of the list if the condition is true we execute this code if it does not passes that condition this code gets executed and in the final section we write the output on the display and also export it into a output file so that's how it works and looks and uh, please practice this uh, framework or uh, these script for various commands uh, to get uh, more and more uh, practice on powershell it is completely optional to have these cosmetic changes but uh, once you are done with this framework you can use it uh, for multiple uh, purpose you just have to modify the condition and the command over here to gather the details thank you for watching this video have a good day